Hello grade 10s. In this video, you will be presented with a number of questions that will test the skills you learned in the series Introducing Analytical Geometry. You will be able to find the answers and other supporting material in the series guide called A Guide to Introducing Analytical Geometry. Let's get started. Take a look at the stick figure named Fred and answer the question. Determine the lengths of Fred's legs KF and KD. Determine the gradient of Fred's arm, BC. You are given the points D with coordinates of 1 and M and points E with coordinates N and 1. If F with coordinates 3 and 2 is the midpoints of line DE, Determine the values of M and N. You are given the vertices of triangle DEF with point D at negative 4 and 1, point E at 6 and 3, and point F at 2 and negative 3. Calculate the coordinates of the midpoint of DF. Determine the length of DE. Show that triangle DEF is a right angled triangle. Show all working. Triangle PQR has vertices on the circumference of a circle with center M. The coordinates of the vertices are for point P, 2 and 3, for point Q, negative 4 and negative 1, and for point R, 6 and negative 3. Determine the length of the radius of the circle. You are given kite P, Q, R, S. The coordinates for point P are 1 and 3. The coordinates for point Q are 2 and 0. The coordinates for point R are negative 2 and negative 3. And the coordinates for point S are negative 2 and 2. Use the diagram of kite PQRS to show that the adjacent sides PS and PQ are equal and that the diagonals are perpendicular. SUVT is a parallelogram with vertices S, with coordinates negative 1 and 2. T with coordinates negative 2 and negative 1. U with coordinates 2 and 0. And V with coordinates X and Y. Find the coordinates of V by using the fact that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. Question 10. This sketch shows a quadrilateral A, B, C, D with vertices A at coordinates 0 and 5, B at coordinates negative 3 and negative 4, C at coordinates 0 and negative 5, and D at coordinates 4 and K. Where K is greater than or equal to 0, what should K be? so that AD is perpendicular to DC. Prove that JKLM is a parallelogram. Determine the midpoint of line ST if the coordinates of S are 3P squared and 2N and the coordinates for T are negative 7P squared and negative 4. We hope you enjoyed doing these questions, grade 10s. Have a look at a guide to introducing analytical geometry for the answers to these questions. You can find more resources on this section on our website. Remember, formula is not just something you feed babies. Bye for now.